This is really to do with the study of um, pregnant women with haematological disorders, so disorders that might be um, uh, come about because of the pregnancy or maybe pre-existing that impact on pregnancy. So our session tomorrow will be covering a broad spectrum of those, so in thrombosis, in aspirin use in preeclampsia, in some rare um, inherited bleeding disorders, um, and then syndromes that can cause uh, fetal abnormalities and fetal bleeding. The ones that related to pregnancy, um, they were published last month, so it was very up to date. Um, and they were really focusing on the timing to do risk assessment. Um, so that is um, if pregnant women are admitted to hospital because they have increased thrombotic risk during that time. Um, in women who have delivered um, a baby or a miscarriage or a termination of pregnancy in the last six weeks um, to risk assess and consider heparin prophylaxis at that time. Um, and certainly if they're immobilised in hospital for more than three days to, as well as heparin to actually be giving mechanical uh, thromboprophylaxis like uh, pneumatic compression devices or anti-embolic stockings. The Meet the Expert sessions are designed to be very interactive um, and it's a small group um, of uh, delegates listening so that encourages the interactive style. Um, and I'll just be discussing cases with them and I've chosen a particular selection to cover um, the breadth of, of the topic in obstetric haematology. Always fabulous to network and to meet up with people who are not involved in my subspecialty anymore but who I worked with or um, you know good friends of mine so that's always um, lovely about the BSH um, but I think it's been a really informative um, two days so far I particularly liked the vignette session this morning um, some interesting cases discussed and food for thought.